Well, I'm still in my hometown, Novochebaksarsk. And right now behind me, finally, is the Russian river, Volga. Ah, that, that side is <laughs> against the sun, so you, you cannot see well. Anyway, that is uh, Cheboksarsk uh, hydroelectric station. So, you see, we are between Nizhny Novgorod and Kazan. Uh, Cheboksar is there, maybe 20 kilometers from here. And this is new Cheboksar. The wind is blowing. Uh, I suspect that probably you will have problems with sound in this video, but still I wanted to show you uh, Volga, the Russian river. But before, before it became the Russian river, the great, or maybe the greatest Russian river, not the biggest, but the greatest, definitely. It was also the Tatar River, or Bulgar River. You know, Kazan was conquered by Russians in 1552, uh, under the command of the Russian Tsar, Russian King, John, uh, Johann Grozny, or John the Terrible, as people call him in English. Of course, he was ne not terrible. Uh, this word Grozny means uh, thunderous. It, it has something to do with thunder or lightning. And also, it means uh, formidable, I think, very frightening to, to the enemies. So, he conquered Kazan and he made Volga the Russian river. So, it's been just 450 years, or maybe 70 years, since Russia became, uh, since Volga became Russian fully Russian, not only uh, half Russian, but the whole Volga became Russian. So, on his way to Kazan, uh, Ivan Grozny uh, met this, this ethnic, ethnic group, Chuvash. And they, they joined Russia. They uh, did not side with Tatars. They sided with Russians. And they accepted Christianity, Orthodox Christianity. They became, became Orthodox Christians. Of course, not all of them at once. But uh, through the course of time, more and more of them accepted Christianity. So now, Chuvash Republic, if we talk about religion, you can call it uh, an Orthodox place. And there are much more Orthodox churches here than, than masjids, and much, much more Orthodox Christians than Muslims. And this is why uh, Chuvash ethnic groups survived. You know, Tatars would, uh, would uh, convert them uh, into Islam and probably they would disappear as a, as a, uh, a separate ethnic group because, you know, Ch Chuvash... Um, Chuvashi, as we call them in, in Russian. Um, when they accept Islam, they, when they become Muslims, they very soon uh, accept all the traditions and 
even the language of Tatars and they be, be, be become Tatars. So you see not only Ivan Grozny saved Chuvash from this uh, from you know eternal eternal death and gave them spiritual life but also he he saved Chuvash ethnic group from disappearing in the earthly physical sense so the role of the king is tremendous uh, and there uh, on that side of Volga uh, you can see <laughs> you can see the forest and not not far from here maybe a few kilometers uh, to to north to the north uh, there uh, is situated the Mari Republic Mariska Marici another ethnic group who is living here so these are some some thoughts about Volga and this is the main uh, natural feature of, of my hometown you see it it had tremendous impact on my soul and on the souls of, of everyone here this is a great gift of God to Russia and all who live here. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening.